I don't know if I'll link this together with another video or not, but here's all the stuff that I have made. Um, and they're sealed and dried except for, well, they're not. Only two of them are sealed and dried. So there's some molds that I have that are, let me show you. This is like on the thin side. And then I've got this one that is really, really thick. And I'm not liking the thick one. I'm going to, it's dried, so I'm actually going to try to take a knife and, and cut it down. It's supposed to be a bird. But anyways, so these are kind of on the thick side too. But I felt like the butterfly, I could go ahead and do like half of it. But the sun, I filled it all up. And then I did these little ones. But the thing that I have learned, now these molds, like this one is indented. And this one is indented. But like this one is raised in the middle. This one comes up. So when it comes up like that, I don't know if you can tell, it ends up with a bump in the middle and I try to work it so that the sides would be equal so that it would just level out but it just didn't work so let's just start with this one and see these are all flowers so let's see how it comes out oh well uh, you can't really tell well that's better with the show and the light but it looks like an indented something I would not call this a flower I would call this a flop. So let me know with what you think about flop number one. Can you make it out? I think it's a flop. Would you still want to use this on some sort of crafting thing? This is thick. And this is the back side. So I guess you could use that. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. For myself so let's do this one that was not popped up okay this one is is pretty this this is the design can you see it really good it's indented it's a design and I mixed up the colors this time instead of just a dark color or a light color I'm just playing around and just trying new things and I like this because it's it's thin you can send it in happy mail no problem once it's all sealed and solid but you can see the design of the flower so I call that a win and I like that it's mixed up with different colors and it's not painted so I would like to be able to make things and not have to do another step of painting okay so we got those two now we got another one it's Kind of popped up a little bit. Let's see what this one looks like. I'm trying to mix up my color. Yeah, it is popped. Oh, but it's a good pop up. Okay, so here, look. See that one? It's popped up. I gotta remember which ones are which. Uh, I'll have to watch the video over. But this is a good pop up. It looks like a volcano in the middle. Okay. But look it. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. A little bit I added a little bit of bluish in it so I'll be just playing around with different colors but oh isn't that gorgeous I'm gonna have fun with that one happy surprise yay I, I'm curious to see what this one would be like this doesn't even look like a flower to me so if y'all know what this one is called in real life like can you tell what that is it just looks funkyish Okay, so let's see how the suns come out. These are like, well, this is what it looks like in the mold. See, can you see the design in the mold? And I'm definitely going to make this a separate video because it's taken a long time. Oh, and it's got threads hanging out, probably. Oh, it came out nice. Look at that. It has goober gobber stuff on it. I got to clean off. But look at it. Yay! I'm excited. So we, we got that. Oh, this one's kind of on the wet side. And we got more goober gobbers. 
Do you see the goober gobbers? It's like cobwebs. Here's another one. So I like these. Now, even though these are suns, I would like your input as to whether or not you would do these different colors or to just stick to the norm norm. It's not too thick. So excited about that. And last is the butterfly that I did down inside because I didn't want it to be too thick. Which, these sunflowers, I might be able to do these like half the thickness. I might try about that. What do you think? We'll see. But here, let's see how the butterfly comes out because I did half the thickness. Because I just want to see. Oh, and it looks like, it looks like it's okay. It came out all right. So see the um, colors, and you can see the shape of the butterfly. The only thing with this is, I don't know if you can see, I would think that you can, like over here, it has a, a, a lip, it has a ledge because it's, it's not even with the top, so I couldn't like pat it down to keep it level. So I've got these crevices, raised edges. So what do you think about that? Maybe I could file it down. We'll have to see. But this is the thickness, which I think is thick enough for something for crafting. I don't want something very thick. And then here's the back side, which... Okay, I, you know, I get these confused. I'm confused. I forget that this... When it comes when it comes up out of the mold that this is actually the bottom so rewind and let's show you the real thing this is the butterfly of what it looks like so that's fine i like that because it does show it does show the imprint of the design of the butterfly i hope you can see that yep i hope so but yeah, so this is a win. I just have to file this down somehow. But I'm going to have to seal it kind of and maybe snip it with some scissors or something. I don't know. We'll see. Playing and learning. But that's where we're at with all of these things. I hope you enjoyed this video. My collection's growing and I got to get to work with painting. I know. It's easier when I don't have to paint, but... And this one, I think, for many, would say that this is a favorite, even though it's dark. So, what is your favorite that you've seen between my videos? I don't know. This one is gorgeous, even though it's just yellow. I like the design and character. <laughs> okay, be kind, be nice, be encouraging, no matter where we are through the internet. We can touch lives. We can make a difference by making people smile, laugh, and give encouraging words. And remember, keep the fun in all you do.